today playing with the new rimfire build. Um, this is a Lancer Systems upper and lower stock Lancer Systems handguard. This is a 16 inch handguard on a 18 inch JP barrel. It's JP's dedicated 22 stainless barrel with their um, titanium muzzle brake. Elfman Tactical Trigger, a really neat safety selector switch from Elfman Tactical. Uh, really nice. Gun. I just have a Strike Eagle uh, 1 to 6 on here. It's an okay scope. Um, I'd prefer something a little better, but for a training rifle, it's good enough. So we'll shoot this thing and, and see what it does. Shoot 10 rounds here. Uh, we'll shoot at these six droppers and then we'll go over there to the dueling plate uh, see what this gun runs like Pretty fun little gun. Seems to run smooth, 10 rounds. Um, hits the spots. All right guys, so rim fire. We'll uh, turn up the speed, see how fast we can put 10 rounds on a couple of them buffaloes down there, see if we can't get it to uh, fail the feet. So I've downloaded Surefire Shot Timer. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot six of these falling plates um, in under six seconds. See if the gun will malfunction. We'll do that twice. We'll shoot the six plates on the left, six plates on the right. This thing's got a four second timer on it or delay uh, before the timer starts. So we'll see what we can do. Six shots, 4.45 seconds. Um, splits are a little over half a second a shot. We'll try it again on the right side plate. Couple misses there, but uh, looks like that was nine and a half seconds, so a lot slower on the second run. Kind of, uh, kind of the reason for having this 22 to learn from all the little mistakes uh, you make uh, on the cheap, somewhat cheap. But uh, so far the rifles run good. There are some failure fires. I got about six of them on the on the bench over here, so it hasn't been flawless. But I think we'll um, we'll massage some of the the imperfections out of the gun and it'll run flawlessly at some point. So we'll try something with a little bit more range. There's a steel plate up there about 40 yards. Uh, it's probably kind of hard to see in the video, but uh, we'll go for that. We'll, we'll shoot these five black plates here and then we'll shoot five shots at that steel plate up top. See, uh, see how the gun transitions as far as distance. I think it'll handle it okay, but we'll uh, turn the shot clock on and see how we do. Not so bad. Uh, we'll. Uh, We'll try some double taps. We'll throw 10 rounds at these steel plates and see what that's like. That was 9 seconds, 9.1 seconds on those 10 shots. Um, we'll see what double taps, 5 plate double taps does.
pretty easy, pretty simple. That was uh, 4.95, 10 shots on steel, less than 20 yards away. Uh, that's pretty easy, but it gives you a feeling for transmission, sight picture. Uh, again, I don't shoot three gun. I don't shoot anything. It's something that I want to get involved with. And luckily I have uh, this really cool facility here to come plank around with rim fire. Um, so hopefully this was uh, enough information. Again, this is Lancer Systems with the JP, JP rifle. We got uh, AR Catch 22 makes a bolt release for the 22 uh, rifle. It actually does um, catch the bolt. A lot of them, a lot of them don't. A lot of magazines don't. Uh, they recommend using the Smith and Wesson uh, 22 mag with the AR Catch 22 uh, JP rifle stainless barrel. I've shot this thing at paper, and it really is a tack driver. I got the titanium brake on there. That's probably a little bit rice rocket. Uh, probably don't need a muzzle brake on a 22. I wanted it, make it look cool. The carbon stuff from Lancer Systems is amazing. Elfman Tactical Trigger, drop-in trigger, um, their pin set. Unfortunately, the, the, the trigger pins don't work quite right with the Lancer Systems lower. Uh, I have them in there, it works, but it doesn't have the locking plate on this side. Um, selector switch, that's awesome. I got V7. Uh, titanium pins in here. I tried to order a bunch of stuff from V7. Unfortunately, a lot of it didn't fit with this configuration, but I will be running their stuff on my um, my three gun setup. Vortex Strike Eagle, American Defense. I mean, this is a really good way to train, um, you know, speed shooting. It's just a fun way to shoot. California, I don't have a bullet button on this thing. I don't have no thwarts in stock or any funkiness. A lot of people complain about bull buttons and stuff but nobody shoots them at speed with this rim fire here you come out here and shoot at speed and you're not going to spend five hundred dollars I, I i've shot roughly about seven hundred dollars or seven hundred rounds today that's probably a few hundred dollars in uh, two two three five five six ammo um this probably around 20 30 bucks so uh good fun little gun i really enjoyed it i uh, hope you guys um come and join the 22 rim fire uh, challenge that I, I hope to start up here um, out in Morgan Hill. This will be showing the AR Catch 22 uh, bolt release locking. Yes, it didn't lock. Try it one more time. There it goes. That one locked. So that's how it should function. Uh, I don't know why this one didn't work. It sometimes is hit and miss. It, it works more than it than it doesn't. Um, so maybe a uh, AR Catch 22 will respond and give me some clarity why sometimes it doesn't lock, but again, it does lock more times than not, which really nice and convenient. If you have to lock it back, you could do it manually, of course, but uh, it'd be nice if it worked 100% of the time every time. It's probably not a bolt thing. It's probably more of the magazine, I imagine, but uh, yeah, rimfire stuff, it's always finicky. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.